What's up everyone? Adam Saxton here with Guy in a Cube and today, today, we're going to take a look at a feature that I found a lot of people don't even know about. That's Q&A inside of Power BI. So I guess I need to come up with some questions. Do you even know what Q&A is? I was at SQL Bits recently and I was in an event in Dallas last week. And in both places, I asked how many people have heard of Q&A? And to my surprise, not many people raised their hands out of the group. I was shocked. Q&A to me is probably one of the coolest and big selling items inside of Power BI that really wows people when they see it in action. You may have heard of Q&A by another name called Natural Language Search. And really what this is, is you can just ask questions of your data in real English. It'll translate it for you. And you'll see the place to ask your question in a dashboard. So the dashboards are where this happens. You could also potentially ask Cortana if you've integrated Cortana with Office 365 and or Power BI. You can check out Patrick's video on how to do that. So let's see what actually Q&A does. So for this example, I'm gonna use the retail sample that you can just go to get data and get the retail sample that's available as a dashboard. And then you can just immediately ask some questions. So I could say, hey, what were my sales last year? And it'll show me. And then I can say, what were my sales last year by store? And it'll show me that. At that point, I can even change the chart type. So I can maybe make it a tree map. And then when I'm done with everything, I can even pin that visual to my dashboard. So it's not part of any report, it's just a visual that came out of Q&A that maybe I adjusted, and I pinned that to my dashboard alongside of my other visuals that I've pinned. This is an awesome way for you to explore your data and maybe find some things that you weren't really expecting to see. Okay, that's really cool. How do I set this up? So I said before that Q&A is a dashboard feature, so you can control whether this is on or off from the dashboard settings. There's a little toggle you can flip. Later, I'm gonna talk about some limitation as to why you may not see the question bar in your dashboard or why you may get an error when you try to enable Q&A for your dashboard itself. But in general, this should be available for you. You also have additional settings inside of your data set with regards to enabling Q&A for Cortana and you can also have featured questions for Q&A. So if you know that there's a typical question that users may want to ask that you know how to format it correctly, then you can go ahead and set that for the data set itself. So that way when a user goes to Q&A itself, they'll see that question highlighted in the suggestions. All right, so now you've played with Q&A and maybe you found that, look, it's not really picking up on the words that I'm using. Maybe it's not smart enough, it's not trained properly. There are some things you can do to improve the behavior of Q&A. First and foremost, your data model table names, measure names, column names. These are all things that Q&A cues off of in terms of your question. And so if there are names of your tables, columns, or measures that relate to the words that people will be asking, then they'll get a hit and it'll understand where to go. Sometimes you may have duplicate names and so it may give you some selections of what to pick. So you really wanna make sure that the names you use are relevant to the business. That will really help Q&A and it'll help your end users. Okay, but what if I have a name for a column? I can't change it, but my users refer to this as something different, or maybe they refer to that name and maybe also something else that's a more common name. Which one do I pick? Enter synonyms. So synonyms are a feature you can use inside of Power BI Desktop or inside of Excel Power Pivot that you can help shape your model and give hints for natural language search. So as an example, I have a field in the item table of the retail analysis data set called buyer. Now, when I type in the word customer, q and is smart enough to relate that to buyer. But if I put in client, the word client, it doesn't associate with buyer automatically. So what I can do is I can go to synonyms and for the buyer field, I can also add the word client as a hint. So that way when I ask the question and use the word client, it's gonna relate that back to buyer. And I can do that for tables, for columns, for measures, any, any main item inside of my model itself. And so synonyms are a great way to improve your model's results with Q&A or natural language search. 
I mentioned we were going to talk about some limitations. Let's go ahead and talk about those. So if your model has RLS enabled inside of it, so if it's an imported data set and you're using RLS inside of it, row level security, you will not be able to use Q&A with that dashboard. Also, you may have items on your dashboard that come from an imported data set that allows for Q&A, but then you add some items into your dashboard from another reporter data set that doesn't allow for Q&A, you may see that Q&A box go away. For direct query, if you're using direct query inside of your data set, you will not be able to take advantage of Q&A. You will be able to take advantage of Q&A if you're using an analysis services live connection to a tabular model, not multidimensional. So that's in preview right now. It should work for you. We'd love to hear feedback if you're hitting issues with it. For multidimensional right now, it's not expected to work very well. Okay, I wanna know from you guys, have you used Q&A or is this something new for you? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'm really curious just because of my interaction with folks at SQL Bits and this other event I was at. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.